Even, uh, Hello and welcome to The Good Old Days. I'm Pat Riley and our host for the program is Selectman Don McKinnon. And Don has brought a special guest today. Pat, uh, what we've been doing is uh, bring people who go back to earlier days. We try for the last, you know, 40, 50 years if we may. And uh, we have a gentleman here today who uh, uh, he's uh, the one that I've known the longest in the town of Rainham because I knew him before I moved really? to the town of Rainham. I lived in mm -hmm. Easton for about a year when I first married and then mm -hmm. uh, came down to uh, Rainham. And if people get mad at me, uh, it's Bob's fault because uh, <laughs> he's the one who uh, he's the one who uh, said you really should get active in government. You're just sitting down there doing nothing, you know, <laughs> and you should do something. And I says, well, okay, all right. And here we are. Um, I've been 39 years mm. since, so Bob and I go back. Oh, we probably go back close to 50 years over. And I'm even older than you are. And there's <laughs> not many of us about who are in that vintage, Robert. Sure. That's so. true. So our special guest is Mr. Robert Newton. Thank yes. you for joining us, Bob. You're quite welcome. And I believe at some point, Don, back in 1991, the selectmen dedicated the annual town report to actually Bob and Dot. Yes. And would you like me to read that Please now? Please do. Okay. That would be interesting. This is dedication. Us, yeah. Dear fellow citizens, the choice for the dedication of the annual town report for 1991 was an easy one. Bob and Dot Newton have epitomized the spirit of volunteerism, which has made Rainham such a great place to live. They have not just contributed their time and talents, they have helped shape the community. As you peruse the list of their involvement in the community, keep in mind that these positions are exclusively unpaid volunteer positions. Without people like the Newtons willing to donate that most precious of resources, time, the town would have a much different look. Their contribution to the community is immeasurable. Their spirit of giving of themselves immense. Because of this, we dedicate the 1991 Annual Town Report to Robert D. and Dorothy A. Newton, and it's signed the Board of Selectmen, Marie A. Smith, Donald L. McKinnon, and Donald P. Francis. And then you have a lengthy list of uh, different accomplishments mm -hmm. and uh, involvement in the town. Robert Newton, president of the Rainham Lions Club, 1958 and 1959. So we're going back to the 50s. Right? Yes. Member of the Regionalization Investigating Committee, the original for the high school in mm -hmm. 1959. And we will talk about that in a few mm -hmm. minutes. Okay. Member of the Library Association since 1963, president of the Library Association for four years and chairman of the Building Committee. Member of the Board of Appeals since 1994, Chairman Board of Appeals since 1965, Member of the School Building Committee for the addition to the Junior High School, Treasurer of the Bicentennial Commission, Director of Local Area Red Cross, Volunteer and Director of Our Daily Bread Soup Kitchen, Council Member and Moderator for the First Congregational Church. And that's a lot of community involvement. Well, the Daily Bread is something which maybe we could get into also. But I'd like to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And w would you prefer to start, Robert? I, I don't want to not talk about the regionalization of the school because when people hear that, they think of when we regionalize from K to 12. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's not what that's we're not, talking That's about. not true. We're, we're mm -hmm. talking true. here about the original mm -hmm. when Ringham went to the city of Taunton school systems. And what did they say to us, Bob? But they said, we don't want you anymore. Well, anymore, hard to believe. So there we were without a, a high school. Right. Mm -hmm. So we had to go out looking, and um, one of the things that uh, happened then, I uh, knew uh, Mr. Markowski pretty well, and we were in the Lions Club together, mm. and uh, we decided to go down to uh, uh, the Lakeville uh, Freetown School District, which was fairly new, and uh, see if we could get in down there. And they asked us what our credentials were, and. Mm. Uh, <laughs> we and said, you said none. We have none. That's right. So they said, we'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, uh, we checked into Norton. I was over there in Norton with um, old Roger Hall and several other people, uh, talking to them to see if we could uh, possibly put our seniors there. Mm. And uh, that didn't work out. And uh, the more contiguous town was Bridgewater. And uh, that was a, a story that... Uh, I uh, had my office in Brockton at the time, mm. and uh, I got a call from the president of the Plymouth Home National Bank, and I wondered whether my 
account was overdrawn, but I didn't have an account there, so <laughs> that would be a good. He said, "Would you come down and talk to me?" And I mm. said, "Sure." And uh, and you were 29 at the time. Uh, just about 29. 29 yeah. years old. And uh, he said that um, he'd been active in Bridgewater, trying to get a, a high school built there. And he said, my name is not good as far as a high school is concerned because I made a lot of uh, enemies. Imagine having enemies in Bridgewater. Well, Hard to believe. <laughs> president of a bank, you know. <laughs> but in any event, uh, he said if someone else would uh, uh, go ahead and push that, I think we could mm. uh, put up something in the, in the old hen farm down there. Mm, that's something. And uh, Because I, I believe that they own the fa that uh, f uh, hen farm uh, property at the time. Uh, the bank? No, the, uh, oh, the town, the town, the town oh. of Bridgewater. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they, they bought it with the thought of building something there and then they changed their minds, mm. as Bridgewater may do sometimes. Uh, and they had to believe. <laughs> and um, so we got something going over there and finally I went over there after we had voted yes here, went over to uh, Bridgewater and told them yes, we had voted yes and they voted yes. And uh, it was a, a, a done deal. And then it all, all fell into place. And At that time, that Bob, I think the kids went to four different yeah. schools. Okay. Yeah, that's true. So if the uh, first what, what graduating what class was in around 62 or something. Freetown, Freetown Lakeville. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we went over to uh, West Bridgewater. See, I thought it was east, mm -hmm. but it's west. Uh, well. West Bridgewater. Since, yeah, West Bridgewater. And then uh, they, they came here from there. Yeah. Um, it was a... Um, so the fourth year became the first graduating class. Barbara Rogers yeah. and a bunch of people yeah. still about mm -hmm. that graduated from that first graduating class. That, that's true. And uh, uh, it was a very nice school. Mm. Uh, well, I guess it was well constructed. And, uh, I think it, it, it was still doing fine. Mm -hmm. It lasted for a long time. It's, it's just still a going. middle school now. Mm -hmm. Still going. Same building. Yeah. 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 But uh, that was the... Uh, the story of the beginning. Mm -hmm. Now, did Bridgewater have a high school of its own at that point, Bob? Or yes, it did. They did. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was it? The uh, one of the one of the schools that Probably became the middle yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a farmer, yeah. I think, it was named after. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Undoubtedly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of farms in Bridgewater mm -hmm. in those yeah. days. Yeah. Well, that as I say, there was a. A chicken farm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There, where the, the where the where the school is now. Is now. Yeah. 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 And then they moved across the street a little bit with uh, Eddie Cameron. You remember oh, Eddie? Oh, Eddie, sure. Eddie was very instrumental in the conduct of the school's business. Sure. The, an old Marine. Yeah. He was a good man. He was Eddie a good Cameron. man. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. named a field. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's right. a field across uh, the street right. named after Eddie Cameron. That's mm -hmm. right. The, uh, Over where the uh, soccer field is, Pat. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Eddie Cameron Field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, you know, I think he was uh, on the board, uh, the school board, when my wife was named principal. Yeah. Dorothy, Bob's wife, was the principal of what is now the, the future of the town of the South School, which mm -hmm. is going to be, we hope, mm -hmm. park and wreck down the road. Yeah, she was but up there uh, for 20, 26 years. 26 years yeah. in that building, and mm -hmm. all the, my kids all went there, and, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. everybody knew Mrs. Newton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah they, <laughs> they, uh, it was sometimes hard to go to the grocery store because she met so many parents. Sure. Yeah. She'd never get out of there. I know, I know, I know. I know. I know she was a stickler for boys not wearing hats inside. Well, that's the way Mr. Newton is with the Board of Appeals. They all remove yeah. your hats. It's, it's only right. They all remove their hats. So when, one time, I think it was at Shaw's, the mother came over to talk to her and said, you must see my son over there. He's grown so. Yeah. yeah I said, come over and see me. Meet Mrs. Newton. Yeah. <laughs> she took off his hat. <laughs> If I could just take a minute to and yeah. read um, Dot's contributions. Yes. Member and former chairman of the Rainham Arts Lottery Council since 1984, member of the Historical Society for 25 years, chairman for the Historical Society House Tours, member of the Library Association, volunteer for the Rainham Food Basket, member of the Friends of the Library Association, member of the United Way. She was also always member of our Rainham Association of Volunteers for Education, is right. a principal, one of the forming members of that, and uh, Rainham Historical Commission for many years. And, and, and 
basically that was 1991. So right, exactly. Where she was 20 some years. Right. Yeah. I mean, that was 20 mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. so, uh, you know, the years have gone by, and she's mm -hmm. still a member of the uh, Historical the Society. And the Historical sure. Commission. Sure. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So the years go by. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the thing that it didn't mention in the dedication, of course, because this was all her volunteer work. Right. But as mm -hmm. Bob had said, principal. she was principal, which is yeah. legendary principal mm -hmm. of the yeah. South School, right. which right. has maintained its name, South yeah. School. I've been married to her for 61 years. Isn't that something? Yeah. 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 I married you once. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell them about yeah. that? That was our <laughs> historical society mm -hmm. yeah. had a mock wedding, and yeah. you, were the mi you were the preacher there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I happened to get volunteered by our good friend Kathleen Roberts to be the bride. <laughs> I remember. I had a part there somewhere, but you came up on your dad's automobile, That's right. which is yeah. now, how old is your it's dad's automobile? It's 100 years old this year. It's His car is, your father's yeah. car My it's goodness. is 100 years it's old. It's a beauty. And it's it still beauty. runs. <laughs> sure it does. Sure it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. yeah, you were the preacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you right. Get me to the church on time. And, uh, you, you were... You weren't the best movie. What were you? I don't know. I was in there somewhere. <laughs> I have. It was, that's the thing about a memory. I don't, I don't remember know what I did. Whatever I did, I wasn't arrested. So <laughs> there was some humor attached to it too. Yeah, but we you made a, a lovely bride. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that now, was what fun. year was that, though? Wow. It was a few years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The years go by, Pat. They sure do. Years. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Mm. Wow. Now, getting back to the, that original regionalization um, study committee for the first high school, how was that received in the town of Rainham? Was everyone very supportive of that? Well, uh, what could Rainham do? Exactly. We, we yeah. had, we're uh, without a country. Right. That's right. We were mm. cast out of uh, town. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm unceremoniously mm. <laughs> and uh, all we could do is find a place to uh, uh, place our children right. uh, for a couple of years until we could get straightened out. Mm -hmm. So they didn't even do. give you like a lot of warning that two years from now you're going to have to be... I don't think so. Okay. I know mm -hmm. one member of the uh, uh, school committee went down and pleaded with really? uh, uh, the school chairman down there and mm -hmm. she was uh, not appreciative of him coming down. Mm. She later become a, became a judge mm. on the Cape. Yeah. Mm. Huh. And, uh, mm. But uh, she didn't judge us well, but apparently <laughs> they couldn't do uh, too much about it there because they were pretty well yeah. filled in. Right, People right, were coming exactly. in to live, and so they made that decision, and we, uh, we had to get out. Mm. So. Mm. Now, you've also been involved for many years. You mentioned the library. And I'm sure that's the yeah, that goes special back place now, Bob. You. Tell us about in the beginning of the well, library. Well, that's I've what we're interested in. I've been in it for about 49, mm. going on 50 years. 50 years. years. Mm. Now, the, I'm the president of the, the um, executive board. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was there when the library was open on only on Saturday afternoon. Oh, wow. mm. We had one uh, young lady that came in on Saturday afternoon, I think, uh, for a dollar an hour. And, uh, How many books did they have? Twelve? <laughs> well, <laughs> and most of them were, were written by Zane Gray. Yeah. <laughs> but, That's uh, funny. Uh, all but it all was the original building is still there. That's the, the original, original building. The building, that was really? built in mm. uh, 1948 by, by the town. The town yeah. contributed, uh, not, not the town, not the municipal town, but the people in the town yeah. Yeah. contributed money to because that that's built. still not a part of the town as such. It's yeah, uh, that's quasi. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. The yeah. town, town supports it. but it And you're still active in that committee. You're chair of that committee? Of which committee? The library. Yeah, I'm a pres yeah. president of the, the, uh, of the library. Of the library still. Trustees, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The executive board. Mm -hmm. And there's been, what, two extensions to that building? That's Bob? right. I was uh, on the uh, first one, first extension, I was a member. And then I became the chairman of the second hmm. uh, edition, and uh, which which went all all went well. And uh, back when even I think before I became involved, uh, Bill Chickering, remember Bill Chickering? Oh, William Chickering very well. He, uh, he used to wear a necktie to Taunton, and he wore his old shirts to our meetings. <laughs> <laughs> I used to tell his wife said, "Well, you treat them with respect, though, Mr. McKenna." And I said, "What could you do but treat?" <laughs> Bill Chickering, with respect, so was he, contractor. He was the contractor that built the uh, the basement children's room. Oh, did he really? Yeah. That's very nice. 
Well, yeah, it's been improved upon yeah. a couple of times. Yeah. And uh, now uh, houses... And there's the, a meeting room down there. Yeah. Uh, th I, that was the... Um, that was on the second edition mm. that was put in there. I kind of wanted that there because uh, uh, the library needed that and it is used constantly. Mm. It also has a little kitchen out there. Sure. That, uh, Isn't that something? Uh, it accommodates people pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, uh, building uh, has a, a uh, elevator. And, uh, That's right, it does. And uh, we try to keep it up. Yeah. We have a, an office in the basement for the uh, director, and she's she's qu a good director. She yeah. is, she's yeah. a fine director. We're so happy to have her. Sure. Yeah. Uh, that library has just grown so much over the years. And it's is it so ever involved. used? It's, it's oh my gosh! It's, it's just a really a, a focal point for the town. As a matter of fact, very recently, what's the most recent thing over in that? Parking area there, Bob. Yeah, well, well the, the, fortunately, the uh, the selectman, thank you, Don, mm -hmm. uh, put in uh, notification that it is a crosswalk from the church's parking lot right. over to the parking lot and the library. Excellent. Now, half of that library parking lot belongs to the church, mm -hmm. and we have the permission of the church to use their uh, parking lot uh, for our purposes. We have a large uh, group of people coming in, so it's sort of a uh, uh, situation where we uh, th they're helping us and we help them too. Well, there was a time when they had uh, when you would have something down in the meeting room, and the library was open for business. Well, whenever the library is open for business, if there's three parking spaces, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. So then mm -hmm. we would then freeload on the church, which as long yeah, as the yeah. church isn't having a real active activity, they will you know, always very gracious to us. Yeah. But Robert was the one who was pushing the uh, crosswalk, which mm. it's been many years in the making because the state more or less opposed that because mm. there was the crosswalk down at the Four Corner area and they said it was too close to put the other one down. Mm. So, so that's why the town went ahead and did it eventually with Joey Pacheco moved in at Marie Smith mm. yeah. and, uh, yeah. and we, we did get that. Very nice crosswalk. Just it is. within the last they did a, three months. They probably. did a good job. Yeah. They did a good job. Yeah. We're so happy to have it because it's even handicap accessible. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, sure, it had to yeah. be, but yeah. uh, it was a matter of going down to the corner of Pleasant Street yeah. there and, and uh, with a, say, a, a young, nobody, wo nobody young woman with a baby carriage no. going down there in the yeah. rain. Mm. To do no. <laughs> nobody no. would do that. No, no, no. But, uh, you know, I've said, you know, one of the things when uh, Bridgewater lost the use of their library there for a while, I yes. said, you know, that libraries are the soul of a community. Mm. That if you yeah. have a viable community, but you don't have a, li a library, you don't have a viable community. Yeah. Because yeah. you have to have that not only for the meeting places, but uh, what, what Bridgewater Rainham yeah. lost, Pat, at that time with many of their summer programs yeah. when Bridgewater Library closed down. Uh, it didn't close, but it didn't get accredited, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it makes it difficult for the summer uh, well, uh, assignments mm -hmm. and all. Well, so it's a beautiful building. You know, the people in, in Bridgewater chose not to underwrite the library that mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. The things are coming back over there. And it is, but the problem mm -hmm. with it is, is that the, the, the people at the state level for libraries are really conservative. Mm -hmm. You can come back and and you say, well, gee, I'm back. Oh no, you're not. The, the people in Boston, they want to see that library back for four or five years. So once you get yourself unaccredited, you, you've got a road to hold before you can get yourself back because they don't fool around with mm. that kind of mm. stuff. Yeah. Well. And this is why it's so important to get the wonderful librarian we got, Robert. Oh, gosh. I'm so happy we have her. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, she does a great job. Mm -hmm. yeah. Eden Ferguson, she does really well, and Karen Brothers, a children's librarian, also does a great job. Right. So yes. It's a good team. Yeah, you right. can read that in the papers. We're mm. doing something all the time. Yes. Right. There's yes. always yes. activities in the library. And the Friends of the Library, of course, are uh, uh, active with the library and in the library. Sure. Mm -hmm. And they're celebrating the 100th year of the, uh, uh, the sinking 
of the uh, Titanic. 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 I saw that in the paper. Yeah. 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 So that's another hundred year thing. See that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said recently there was something in the, 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 the you know the other unique uh, in the sinking of the uh, Titanic. Really? The weather. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now another thing is the Board of Appeals. That's a really important point. Well, see, this board is what we originally would call Bob on because mm. Bob's only been on. You're know, fairly new on there. What, forty-eight <laughs> years, Robert? Something like that. Been around forty-eight years yeah. on the Board of Appeals. Mm. We were young then. Mm. But uh, <laughs> remove your hat. <laughs> that's, uh, you know, it's too bad that's uh, I'm only going to be known for uh, people. No, no, you're not known, known a, for that. But it's that's, a quite that's quite size judicial uh, unit, and uh, people. Sh would get away with it in a yeah. courtroom, I know. Right. Yeah, and but uh, but what it does is it maintains decorum, oh, yeah. so that if a person comes in and they get sort of relaxed, like they're mm -hmm. at a ballpark, all mm -hmm. of a sudden they realize they're not at a ballpark. Yeah, yeah. Right. They're at a, this is a quasi legal, Traditional, almost a yeah. court type yeah, setup. Yeah. People don't understand about the board of appeals yeah. because Robert, right? You've got to you get one people say no, that's a no. Yeah. yeah. There's three members. Really? And usually it's yeah. a quorum mm -hmm. to say no. One, no, it's no. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, they maintain, Robert maintains a, 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 almost like a judge mm -hmm. sitting up Are there. Are you still chairman of that, Mr. Newton? I know you were yes. for many years. Yes. Really? Still, mm -hmm. yeah. So you have many members and they alternate which case they, they will you know, sit well, on. Sometimes we have, uh, you know, the, the person applying has a, one of our members next door. Conflict. So that's a conflict mm -hmm. of interest, and mm -hmm. we w wouldn't allow that. So we have a, a, a total of seven uh, on there now. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to add another one shortly. Mm -hmm. But uh, and it's good because many of the people that we have on the board are, are people that are very busy mm -hmm. and uh, very qualified, but they have their own lives too, so they can't make it all the time. Mm -hmm. So we have these people who will sub for them. Right. I right. think about a third are attorneys themselves, aren't they, Robert? Yeah, we have three attorneys on there. Three attorneys on there. We had four until uh, Bill... Billy, Billy Tripp moved Billy to Tripp the Cape. Billy moved to the Cape. In a mighty uh, Newfield New pass. pass and, uh, yeah. So there was two mm -hmm. vacancies right there. Well, uh, Bill was on the board for, I guess, 20 odd years. A lot of yeah. people, you know, they remember Bill. You talk about being identified as being the town moderator, mm -hmm. but what they don't remember probably was that in his later years, Mr. Cushman's sight left him. He became, uh, you know, uh, blind, mm -hmm. and Billy Tripp acted as a volunteer to uh, do his uh, much of his legal research really? and uh, worked with Mr. Cushman. He mm -hmm. went about with him and. Uh, and uh, Mr. Cushman lived on the corner of your street, King mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, yeah, he uh, moved moved there South from Maine. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He was very legendary. He had uh, the courtly type voice mm -hmm. that probably could have told <laughs> weather, you know. Yeah. But board of appeals is very important, and you have to base your decisions on town regulations or law or so oh, forth, sure. or else it could end up costing the town. And then it's appealed money. often yeah. into the courts, but uh, Bob not very often turned over. I don't think we've had any uh, charge to the town mm -hmm. from any of our decisions. Unbelievable, yeah. that's great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so people understand that uh, the decision. One of the main things, uh, one of the things coming in now is the so-called in-law apartments, mm -hmm. and that has to be that you can't be a policeman and a judge too, so it's up to the town to police mm -hmm. it to make sure that that does mm -hmm. not come into mm -hmm. a, uh, uh, a two-family house, because if you're not mm -hmm. careful, that mm. that's what can happen. Well, I have to chair. I have to chair a hearing tonight at seven. Oh, do you really? Yeah. Oh my goodness! Well, it's, a busy, it's a busy night. <laughs> oh, I goodness. guess you mm. have to bring a ham and cheese sandwich. Mm. Bob. <laughs> We've got a couple minutes left, but quickly, yeah. the daily bread. Yes, our daily yeah. bread. Yeah, it's about twenty-two years old, and for the past many years has been feeding one hundred and fifty people really? five days a week wow. a hot meal. Oh my! Hot meal is not. It's called a soup kitchen, but you get a good full meal. Have you there. been with it since the beginning, Robert? Uh, no, I, I retired in uh, 1990, mm -hmm. and I met Margaret Jones at Shaw's. Who just retired uh, a year or so ago or so? Uh, yeah, and, and she said, what are you doing? I said, nothing. She said, <laughs> why don't you come down That's and work with don't us? Don't tell Margaret, home, uh, Margaret uh, Jones. Uh, Jones you're mm -hmm. doing nothing. So, 
anyway, I went down there and I worked in the, the kitchen and the, uh, uh, the dining room for 16 years. And then I, I'm the uh, president of the uh, executive board there, too. Where do they, uh, they're out of one of the churches in St. Thomas city. Church, yeah. St. Thomas, that's in the center. That's right in the center, okay. and so it's located there. And it's yeah. a, the, uh, uh, Margaret was there for 21 years, I believe, uh, doing a good job. Yeah, yeah, and wonderful. They have Mike Lean in there. She's uh, subbed under Margaret and uh, doing a, a very successful job, too. We uh, have about 45... Five people days. that volunteer there. Five days wow. a week. Hot no, meal. no, they don't. Do, these these people come in on Thursdays or Fridays or well, one day a week mm. usually. Mm. But uh, it's a um, a very worthwhile thing in, that they do. And I uh, more uh, so now, Bob, with the recession. You think? Yeah. Uh, well, it's always been. And there there are people throughout the uh, uh, area, even as far as Fall River. They they send in money. Mm. Every month Isn't that to sustain it, yeah. It's yeah. Th th once you find out what they do, mm. what you do, th you, th you can appreciate uh, the the whole thing and uh, donate a little bit of money if you can. They have storage areas for food there, Bob. Yeah, we have storage areas, and we have uh, one is a leased area outside the uh, uh, building. But uh, all in all, the even the people who mm. carry away the uh, uh, refuse, uh, they they give us a break because they know what mm. what the uh, our daily bread does. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's a uh, an excellent organization. Very quickly, with a minute or two to go, I've got to get a little bit into the career of Robert Newton, who uh, when I worked with him, uh, I would handle the five dollar report, and Robert would do the hundred, two hundred, three hundred, five hundred. He would do the maximum, and you interviewed people like Billy Sullivan. Oh yeah. And then yeah. there was the fellow that uh, owned uh, Reebok uh, when he wasn't successful. Oh yeah, and and uh, his his wife. This is this is amazing. Go ahead. His wife used to do my typing. She was really? his sec oh his wife gosh. was probably <laughs> worth about fifty million dollars. <laughs> no. Not a bunch of lottery. Wow. She was yeah. his secretary. Oh yeah. my. And, and, and the guy... Phil is an awfully nice person. Oh, very nice lady. An awfully nice lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she come there and do the typing. Yeah. Quiet, kept to herself. <laughs> and I, I know I interviewed him one time, and he said, if you didn't know Phyllis, I wouldn't let you in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he started off slow, I mean, what, camping material? Or oh, something? yeah, it was Boston camping. and uh, His father owned it or something? Uh, yeah, well, the whole family owned it. The fireman yeah. family owned it. This is the, these are the owners of, of Reebok, firemen. Well, well the, the, the son oh, is. The, the, time, the yeah. son is. Yeah. But uh, they, they had fell on, on tough times because of the economy. Who goes fishing yeah. Fishing if you don't have any money to pay for uh, mm. fishing rods? So, so they had their good days and bad. So I guess it was Boston uh, Bank, First Bank of Boston, turned them down when they needed it. <laughs> so they Amazing. declared bankruptcy and went out of business. Mm. And then they had a sneaker. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, this P Paul Fireman found a, uh, a way to make money through, as you say, sneakers. Amazing. I think he was and fairly successful. <laughs> well, well, thank you, Robert, very much for coming here. Well, next time around, we're going to have you again. We're yeah. going to have to go into some of your mm -hmm. famous interviews with, uh, mm -hmm. what was the name of that quarterback there? There was uh, Cap, I think his name was. He was oh, replaced <laughs> by a rookie named Jim Plunkett. So yeah. we'll, we'll, yeah. uh, we can't yeah, get a couple. It's a wrap-up time, but, mm -hmm. but those were those Joe, Joe Cap stories. was the story. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. yeah. So, so thank you that, very much, Robert. We're going to invite everybody to come back. You're welcome. Bob, thanks for being with us. Don, yeah. another great show. Thank you very this much. This one went great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it always does. Definitely. And we want to thank all of you for being with us as well. We'll see you here back on our next episode of The Good Old Days. Yeah, we do. Da, 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 da. <laughs> we got to get that. We do. <laughs> do, do we?